Hello everyone, Greg Reynolds here from Travel Hacks News. Today I want to tell you how to always find a cheap airfare. Let's do this. How to always find a cheap flight. Here's some sound financial advice. Who doesn't want to save money when you can, especially for a costly trip where every dollar will be precious? Airline flights would normally represent the biggest part of your trip expenses, so finding that hidden deal is important if you're on a budget. I know you're excited about your trip and you're probably searching for flights online and of course want to save money if possible. So I want to point you in the right direction and teach you how to save on that next trip you're planning. Number one, be flexible with your travel dates. If you're not flexible with the dates you want to fly, you will never be able to find a cheap flight. Airline prices vary on the day of the week, time of the year, and upcoming holidays such as Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, or the 4th of July. August is a big month for traveling around Europe, so airline tickets tend to be higher that month. Everyone wants to go to Thailand in December and January, for example. If you zig when others zag, you are going to find better deals. Moreover, it's always cheaper to fly during the middle of the week than on the weekend because most people travel on the weekends and airlines hike their prices then. Prices are also cheaper if you fly after a major holiday, just as early morning or late, late, late night flights are cheaper because people want to travel, don't want to travel then. Who wants to get up that early? When you're dead set on a certain day or time, you're limited in the deals you will find. Number two, ignore all the myths. There are a lot of myths online about how to find a cheap flight, but unfortunately there's no magic book or secret way to do it. Here's the number one myth. It's not cheaper to buy airline tickets on a Tuesday. Number two, there is no evidence that searching the incognito leads to cheaper deals. Number three, there is no exact date or specific time in which you should book your airfare. And number four, if you can't predict airline prices in websites that do or basically taking an educated but probably wrong guess. Number three, be flexible with your destination. Years ago, if you wanted to fly between continents, you were stuck with traditional expensive airlines like Lufthansa, Thai, Japan Airlines, American, British, Quans, etc. That's no longer true. Budget airlines now serve many long haul routes, making it possible to bounce around the world for very little money. Just be sure to watch out for those fees. Budget airlines usually charge fees for check baggage and or carry-ons, printing your boarding pass, using a credit card, and about anything else they can get away with. Be sure to add up the cost of the ticket and the fees to make sure the price is lower than the larger carrier. Number four, take advantage of student discounts. If you are a student, there are many discounts available to you. You can find flexible tickets on websites like S. CA travel and agency stores. I once got a $400 ticket from Athens to Bangkok when the normal prices were around $600. My suggested companies are STA Travel in the U.S., Flight Centra for Australians and New Zealanders, Travel Cuts for the Canadians. If you aren't a student, these companies offer regular flight deals and are worth checking out anyway. Number five, not all search engines are created equal. Every day, airlines release thousands of killer deals from mistakenly published cheap fares to normal deals to slash prices, all to compete with the other airlines. I've seen tickets to Asia from the U.S. for as little as $400 round trip and flights from the U.S. to Europe for under $200. Cheap fares are out there if you know how to find them. The companies I'm suggesting today have consistently helped me find super deals, offer world-class customer service, and provide a great value. Overall, all of them stand out, in my opinion, and beat the competition. And my number one money-saving airfare website is Skyscanner. This is my go-to website. They search a lot of different airlines, including many of the budget carriers that larger sites miss. I always start with Skyscanner, as they usually find the best deals out there. Number two money-saving airfare website is Airtrax. This company is a leader in the around the world tickets. Their booking agents allow you to construct itineraries with multiple airlines so you can piece together the best deals. Their staff are excellent and really know their stuff too. My number three money-saving airfare website is Mamandu. 
Another great option for finding budget flights. They always seem to find deals and their calendar views let you see which days are the cheapest to fly. I like them because they search the small booking sites no one else does. My number four money saving airfare website is Google Flights. One of the best flight search engines out there. Google Flights lets you enter your departure airport and see flights all over the world on a map so you can see where the cheapest destination is. They also suggest different dates for cheaper flights. In conclusion, I hope you enjoy this information. I hope you're saved some serious money next time you go search for flights. Happy travels! Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to hear more, please subscribe to my channel. Take care.